Welcome back, Team VWC. It's your boy TWP. Y'all know what time it is. We're back with another quick update and review video over how to grow a pineapple from a store bought pineapple. Because you know, it's best to recycle and keep it growing than to just throw that pineapple top away because that's how we propagate pineapples in the cultivation industry. Let's get into this video. And we got a little snack review at the end for you all. So. Hi guys, today I'm going to show you how to grow a pineapple plant from a store-bought pineapple. First you want to hold the pineapple like so and grab the top nice and firm and twist it. And then you want to hold the top like so and start peeling the leaves sideways. You want to take about 3-4 layers off. After you peel off about 4-5 to five layers of leaves, the bottom will be more exposed for roots to grow more easily. Sometimes you'll already see roots growing. In this one, they're a bit dried up, but they will develop. Next, if you're growing these indoors, you want to get a pot, fill it with potting soil, and you want to water it down. And then you want to take the pineapple top and just twist it in to bury the exposed part. Finally, you want to water the plant by pouring water down the center. You want to see water fill up the leaves. And every time the water in between the leaves start to dry, you want to refill it. It doesn't matter if the soil around the plant gets dry. As long as there's water in the leaves, uh, it will do well. This plant was started about six months ago. I'm going to show you how to water it once again. You fill it by pouring water down the center. And water will stay in between the leaves. In about two years, the plant will flower and produce a pineapple. After that, it will start producing pups at the side of the plant, and these will be miniature versions of this. And then, you just grab the pups, tear them the same way you did the leaves, and replant it the way we just did. And those will produce pineapples much faster, in about a an year. And if you see that your pineapple isn't flowering, you can force it to flower by cutting an apple in half, placing it in the soil, and covering it with a clear plastic bag uh, with holes in it and the gas produced by the decomposing apple will force a pineapple to flower. And that's how you grow a pineapple plant. Thanks for watching guys. Do your flowers have any of these problems? Yellow leaves are iron deficiency. Rotting roots are oxygen deficiency. Collapse is potassium deficiency. Leaf drop is oxygen deficiency. And no bloom is phosphorus deficiency. All of these problems can be solved with just one trick. Ferment chop onions. Soak soybeans. Rice and 35 milliliters of white vinegar in water for three days. It contains many micronutrients needed by plants and is used twice a month. It makes flowers bloom and roots strong. You can also pour it into a spray bottle and spray it on the leaves so that they will be oily. 
Green and the flowers will bloom. Angel food cake with pineapple recipe, serves 8 to 10, soaring sunshine. Calling all citrus lovers. This light as air angel food cake bursts with sunshine thanks to juicy pineapple chunks, making it the perfect dessert for any occasion. With minimal ingredients and effortless steps, you'll be soaring to sweet success in no time. Ingredients 1. 16 ounces, box angel food cake mix. 1. 20 ounces, can crushed pineapple, undrained. Half teaspoon cream of tartar. 1 quarter teaspoon salt. 1 teaspoon vanilla extract. 12 large egg whites, at room temperature. 1 and a half cups granulated sugar. Powdered sugar, for dusting, optional fresh pineapple chunks and maraschino cherries, for garnish, optional. Instructions. 1. Preheat the oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit, 175 degrees Celsius. Grease and flour a 10-inch tube pan, or spray with non-stick cooking spray. 2. In a large bowl, whisk together the cake mix, cream of tartar, and salt. 3. In a separate bowl, beat the egg whites with an electric mixer until foamy. Gradually add the sugar, a tablespoon at a time and continue beating until stiff peaks form. Fold in the vanilla extract. 4. Gently fold the egg whites into the dry ingredients, about one third at a time, until just combined. Do not overmix. 5. Pour the batter into the prepared pan, spreading evenly. Gently fold in the crushed pineapple with a spatula, ensuring it's evenly distributed throughout the batter. Six. Bake for 40 to 45 minutes, or until the cake is golden brown and a toothpick inserted into the center comes out clean. 7. Invert the pan onto a wire rack and let the cake cool completely, at least 2 hours. This allows the cake to settle and prevent shrinkage. 8. Run a knife around the edges of the pan to loosen the cake. Gently turn it over onto a serving platter. 9. Dust with powdered sugar, if desired and garnish with fresh pineapple chunks and maraschino cherries. Tips For an extra tropical touch, add half cup chopped macadamia nuts to the batter before folding in the pineapple. Use the juice from the pineapple can to make a simple syrup for drizzling over the cake. If you don't have a tube pan, you can use a 9 by 13 inch baking pan. However, the baking time may need to be adjusted slightly. Store leftover cake in an airtight container at room temperature for up to two days. This sunshine-filled angel food cake is sure to impress your guests with its light and fluffy texture and delectable pineapple flavor. So, grab your ingredients, preheat your oven, and get ready to bake a little slice of paradise.